Here we are. What night, what night is this? Night seven? Oh, my drink. Thank you. Oh, speaking of drinks, what do we have? We have, uh, this is what we took for uh, our refreshments for the, the trip. We have um, rum, which is getting low. Why is the rum always gone? Uh, we have uh, two things of vodka, which actually this is, hasn't even been opened yet. That's not good. Well, maybe it is. And that one is, oh, I don't know. We haven't drank that much vodka. Uh, we have really, really good Irish whiskey, uh, peated whiskey. Uh, that is pretty much almost gone. There's a little bit left. I mean, no, it's all gone. It's all gone. Uh, and then we have uh, Zambuca, which is almost gone. So I guess we've actually, our liquor of choice is good whiskey and Zambuca, rum, and then vodka. We were talking today in the canoe, and we're talking about um, uh, Woodland Caribou versus Wabakimi. And uh, we, we actually thought that maybe Wabakimi was similar to Woodland Caribou, but we've uh, now decided that it's not. So Andy, uh, um, what is Woodland Car how is Woodland Caribou different than Wabakimi, you think? Um, well, it's a, it's a bit more pure jack pine and uh, black spruce forest here. Um, you know, there's pockets of uh, birch, but uh, over in Wabakimi you get uh, um, a bit more uh, different tree varieties. And the, the forest stands are more mixed, I think, than they are here, where they're more pure, you know, jack pine or black spruce or birch, you know. How is this area? We're in the south, what are we, the south east part now? Yep. How, how is that different than up to Artery Lake and the Blood Bay River? So, um, well, bigger lakes in the northern part of, uh, of Woodland Caribou and uh, connected by river systems, um, whereas in the south it's more uh, a, a real mishmash of lakes mostly um, with smaller drainage systems that are connecting them in, uh, in all sorts of hodgepodge uh, patterns. Whereas up north you get the bigger lakes, bigger rivers, and they're generally um, you know, draining from east to west. Woodland caribou. Made you look. <laughs> <laughs> we have yet to see a woodland caribou. I had everybody looking. <laughs> uh, they're like ghosts here. Uh, we've seen poop and uh, tracks, but uh, no caribou. I learned that caribou love beaches, so uh, keep your eye on the beaches. The beaches are flooded. We're in flood right now. Yeah, so their, their ankles are wet. Yeah. <laughs> Caribou tracks are more crescent shaped than, than moose tracks. And you'll also see behind the caribou tracks, the two dots from a, uh, their dew claw marks, where you don't necessarily see that uh, unless a moose is in uh, deeper mud. They're, and their poop's different too. too. Uh, I didn't know that until you showed me. Yeah, so, uh, you know, moose poop uh, was kind of like uh, little marshmallows, uh, you know? Okay. Of the brown variety? Well, Will and Caribou poop. They look like deer poop. Or no, I mean not deer poop, sorry, sheep poop. Yeah, yeah. they're small black uh, little discs. Uh, often all cl clumped together, but uh, that's uh, generally what they look like. Maybe no bigger than, uh, you know, the end of your finger. Yeah. And speaking of uh, poop though, we also saw some wolf poop today that was record size. <laughs> We're phoning Guinness. <laughs> Holy <laughs> jump. This, there was a wolf, you know, I think, you know, and, and I think Bill summed it up uh, the best when he said, well, that explains why they howl. <laughs> this thing was huge. <laughs> it was, there was hair, with well, moose hair, and I think there was even a, a moose leg coming out of it. I don't know. It was, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So bad. I think I saw a piece of Jimmy Hoffa yeah. in there. Yeah. What is it, Bill? One big scat from a wolf that had one heck of a feast, including, I'm not sure it's caribou or moose, but it looks like something like that. That's <laughs> got to be, wow, 18 inches to 20 inches plus a 8 inch. 
I would like to see that wolf. <laughs> so wolves are in the park as well. I obviously, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we no, saw. No, there is a willing caribou. Dog. <laughs> as your grandma would say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> if he was living in modern day society, this wolf would need a plunger. <laughs> Yes, it would. All right, so the last statement is, if you had a choice between uh, Wabakimi and Woodland Caribou, I'm not even sure why I'm asking this, because it doesn't really matter, I'd go to both, but which one would you choose? Whichever one my wife wants to go to. <laughs> no, they they both have their uh, unique qualities. Um, Wabakimi probably has more river systems and whitewater opportunities than here in Woodland Caribou. So if, if you're, you know, really enjoy white water running rapids, probably want to try out Wabakimi first. And I don't know, I think, um, I think fire uh, plays a more major role here in Woodland Caribou than in uh, Wabakimi. And like you said, they both have fires. But yeah, except you're freaking me out the whole time. But today, it's really hot today, so it goes hot. I smell smoke, because I'm afraid of bears, and I'm afraid of bad weather, and I'm afraid of burning to death in a forest fire. And uh, who knew? And uh, so sure enough, every every, come, every time we come around a bend, I smell smoke, Kevin. <laughs> I smell it again. <laughs> so that many bald eagles we've seen in total, probably over 20, more than 20. Yeah. Yeah. We st he started calling them rats of the sky. <laughs> They're everywhere. Well, oh, the nest we saw, a bald eagle nest. We yeah. just camped, you know, almost in view of this nest uh, last night. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. I should see the chick in the. The chick was pretty old too. Is what time to leave the nest? Oh, you're on the chicks again. <laughs> <laughs> well, another. I think it's time. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>